G'day and welcome to Ranonauts. It's time to see what we can do about our radar coverage. We've got the, our, our second units, should be coming up fairly soon in some of our bases. This base, however, is a bit behind. I guess we're going to need to build a new one. So that's why we're in the hard hat thing. We need a radar array. We need it soon. And yeah. Uh, okay. Other things that we need to check. Marauder Interceptor is currently being built here. One is being built here. And one is being built here. This is our biggest money sink right now. But I, it'll be worth it. It'll totally be worth it. Having two of them. Okay, the Valkyrie Assault Boat is the ultimate conclusion of dropship technology, possessing an enhanced carrying capacity and excellent range and speed. It has one rather unique ability. It deploys soldiers to the battleship via drop pod. So it doesn't actually land itself. Um, it's got a big cavernous hull with stronger armor and a better reactor, capable of carrying 12 soldiers or 10 soldiers and a tank into battle. Can cruise at nearly 2,000 p.m. Uh, an hour. I I don't know what p.m. is. I'm going to assume they mean kilometers an hour. Um, while doing so, is simply a bonus. Uh, launch tubes. Yeah, so they can just get dropped in the landing area. Uh, so I, so what? From what I think this, well, what this sounds like is you get the same kind of deployment as you get on like an alien base raid or base defense. We'll go to our research screen and we will immediately... Oh wait, what we should do is we should cancel this and then start it, which allows everyone to do that. And now we can build the Valkyrie dropships, which we will probably do in our Indochina and Soviet Europe base uh, and North American bases because they're behind on that. Okay. Boom. Suddenly we got bigger radar car. Aha. So here is a landing ship whose purpose is to build a base. So we go out and we want to deal with this. Okay, it escaped to space. Squadron 2, select new target, down here. I want you to look for that base. Okay, so... What that means is ideally we want to just send a squad to it. So that that group were there specifically to build that base. And they basically slipped through our coverage. So we want to return to base with them. And I guess it's time for yet another base attack. Ah. <sighs> So, Shrike 1, what are we doing with you guys right now? What do we have? Have we built our Predator Assault Armor? No, because we haven't been focusing on that. That's fine. I'm not angry. I'm a little disappointed in me. I should have thought about this. But, uh... I guess we can deal with that. Engage. It would have been nicer if we'd been able to take it out before it built the base. But ultimately we actually want bases to be built so we can get things from them. If that makes sense. There's um, a type of ship that will be carrying things we need. So here we go. Put the tank here. We put uh, a Maria. Maria. Is Maria not with us? The parent. Oh no, there she is. Namio, so hopefully she won't need to move. Uno can go there. Guilla. Oh, right. No, we're, we're basically going to rely on this as our approach. Ah, 
that, not what I wanted to see. Just to confirm. So, I need to remember actually that I haven't captured a Reaper alive. And I want to because that will give me stuff. I can hear a lot of doors opening. A lot of doors opening. I also need to remember to quick save. Good and bad. I bet I don't actually kill one. Oh, great, great. Perfect. Fifteen to use. Honestly, I can't think of anything more terrifying than teleporting Reapers. Ah, oh, hello. Whatever you are. Okay. So, step one, go and open the door. You know Namio, you can't do this. Leroy may be able to Kate may be able to See sometimes the uh, lean mechanics leave a lot to be desired. <laughs> Oh, 
Of course. Don't really have a good way of dealing with that, actually. Who oh, no, yep. Yeah. Patch yourself up, Uno. Quilla, let's have you back off to the side. Leroy, similar. Yeah, okay. Here's how we handle this. Kate, you duck. Fabian, you get back here. Yep. That's good. It's what we want to do. I wish they were not so tough that they would uh, shrug off that initial volley of fire. No. <sighs> okay, Fabion. Here is a terrible plan. I'm gonna bet, not enough mind you, but I'm still gonna gamble this, that you can't teleport onto an occupied pad. It's also equally possible, and a terrifying possibility, that what this does is in fact doom you to be telefragged. So we will see if my first or my second supposition is correct. Let's try this. It's a lot of doors opening and closing. Really? You can't... Really? So, 
I think I'm going to then send these guys out of this room. So here's my thinking. If I can get to here, I can send the tank through, or I can just send the tank through this way. You know what, let's just send the tank through this way. Holy shit! That's not cool. This is what a civilian base looks like, I guess. Ah. You know, get out here. Maria, reload. Pull back into here. Swap to medkit. Medkit yourself. Kate. Get over to, next to Maria. She can heal you up a bit. Markov. I want you to work on your chains. I'm hilarious. Shut up. You know, I get the impression that um, this base was not designed to be tank accessible. It's just a really weird feeling. I don't really like it, honestly. Okay, there we go. Healed her. Right. Problem is, don't really have much choice in where I need to go if I don't, if I want the tank to not be completely effing useless. Which is basically this way. And then, if that fails, come back around this way. Like, is there a valid way for me to get the tank there? Assuming I would open this door. Right. Right now there isn't, because there's uh, Maria in the way. Let's say Maria moved out of the way. Oh, you're not allowed to move through those things, are you? Okay. Shut your face. <laughs> oh, God, that was so dumb. Should not have gotten away with that.
<sighs> I'm glad nothing can possibly wake up. Because if it could, I would be kind of screwed. I'm also really gambling when I'm making these long moves. There's nothing really hidden that can equally mess me up. See how I do. Don't hear any teleporting. I'm really glad we kill we stunned one Reaper anyway. Okay, now. Okay. Reasonably sure there's nothing just hiding around that corner. Probably shouldn't group my guys directly behind the tank though. Now I think about it. Okay, there's at least one guy around here. Ah. We're getting closer to our teleporter room. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh. Oof. Maria. You could... You've been uh, looking better, I have to say. So here's its communications table. Fabion can't patch you up, but Leroy can. And he might as well patch himself up while he's at it. Probably should stop putting Maria in harm's way though at this point. Uno. I'm going to put you here. Because I can't just run you in. I sure as shit ain't just uh, going to leave you behind either. Wait, no, we'll move to the corner. Don't think any of them are in a position where they could get at us this way. And Leroy's actually going to run up too. Good. Good-ish. Anyway. So there is our teleporters. Oh, that's a door. Um, should have remembered that. In my basic, this is a door class. Let's uh, hide behind this array.
up here. Leroy Jenkins. Uh, Vebion, you can get here. Okay, thank you. Who know? Do the honors. Who know? Who know? Those were terrible honors. Leroy? We're going to do this with conventional arms fire. Nope. No, we're not. Someone put it down. Good. Let's do this. Can you open the door? Oh, of course. Oh, of course. That only would be a sensible thing to be able to do. Yeah, see, that's so stupid. That is incredibly stupid. And I don't like it. Where were we? <laughs> like, that she can't shoot around that corner is ridiculous and goes against so many things in this game. Oh, God, you're an annoying game sometimes. And why, yes, I do feel justified in doing this. Because that was ridiculous, and I will not stand for it. I'm gonna bet the command's down that way. Namio, Namio, wherefore art thou, Namio? There we go. Let's do that. <laughs> you turned around? So the thing I know is that there is at least one more of those guys sitting back here. It's no surprise. But equally he could approach from this direction because that's going to go around the corner into that. So it isn't the way to command just yet anyway. But, thing is, we can always treat it that way, basically. Because, for example, I can do this.
Good. I'm just like, wait, who have I not moved? Because the problem is, I'm really good at not moving people. That's why this channel has so few followers. And now, let's see. Now we would get so many time units. It's incredible. And amazing. Let's just have someone sitting back here. Sitting back here. Where hopefully aliens can't shoot along. Okay. We haven't heard any teleport noises. So. 72, 87, 41. 36. So you actually can get there and have more time units to retreat. What is happening is we have an alien camping a pair of automated doors, but I don't know which doors. I suspect these doors or something up here, but it wasn't these doors because we would have seen it. I really hope we would have seen it. Otherwise this next turn's a bit suicidal. Ha. <sighs> What the fuck? Seriously, how and where did that come from? I went into that room. That's ridiculous. I want to reroll. Do they not make noise when they go through the teleporter? Are they secretly goddamn ninjas? They do! Like, there's no indication that the level goes that high. But somehow, they're allowed to do that. So not secretly goddamn ninjas so much as they actually can be completely inaccessible.
Well, there we go. That's one way of dealing with that. When the threat is literally invisible, I feel it is totally justifiable. Unless it's that just the cone of vision is too limited. But, like, in that case, seriously, fuck you. Those guys make noise when they move. They're not silent super troopers. I kind of wish there was a kind of battle camera or something you could use to see around corners. Because this is getting pretty nerve wracking. I need to remember to use my shield trooper. So here's the aim get people past the intersection, block off the intersection. Realize that this makes you incredibly vulnerable to grenades. So this is the power supply. If I take out the power room, I win the uh, like the base defense is completed. But I don't actually get all the loot and goodies from it that I want. Oh, is it on the other side of that? Is that the case? Is that what I've missed? Alrighty. And there's our door. <laughs> Finally. Finally we get somewhere. Alrighty. Alrighty. Here we rely on don't open the door. Don't open the door. Don't open the door. Don't open the door. I said not to open the door. I'm, yeah. So that was very much an experimental thing. Used purely by the fact that I am willing to abuse saves now. 
Amazing how it's suddenly totally viable for them to just open the door. Um, but yeah, that can fuck right off. Not happening. Didn't happen. Never did happen. That was helpful, Namiya. Never happened. Never, never didn't have it. You're gonna be like that. Here's how we deal with you. Aliens never camp an open door. The truth universally acknowledged. They're duck, aren't they? Whatever. 44, no, we do the 32. Really? How many freaking reaction shots does that one guy get? Okay. So here's the thing, I really want to see if I can capture the other alien leader. Wow. Just wow. Grenade, grenade, grenade. Nope. Ninety five percent chance. See no knots.
No. Thought so. I know at least one other person has a stun baton. Chuck it to the ground, do this, run and stun. There we go. Totally worth it. Captured a reaper. The civilian leader doesn't count. Fine. Whatever. Okay, I got someone wounded for no reason except to get a goddamn medal. This one. This one. Leroy. Live alien command unit. Oh yeah. And Kate got a crimson heart. So many medals awarded. We took out an alien base really quickly. And we got 88,000 bucks in the process. That took way too long, way, way too long, but it was good. We got there. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.